Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And in today's video, we are testing two items. Now I did do a review back in the day when it first came out and that is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I absolutely love it. I low key think that this is a dupe to the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It even looks like the bottle, you guys. I do. And I thought that back in the day, now I've been using it. So I'm gonna see if I still think that that is true. Back in the day, I used sand and sand was a bit light and I'm a little bit more tan. This is summertime, so I have honey. So I'm gonna see if this is my correct shade. I do wanna try one of Jackie's shades to see if there's a bit better shade because this is in my top five favorites. It's hydrating, it has coconut water, hyaluronic acid. It's good for you, it's cruelty free and it's really good. But we are also going to swatch some of these and this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now I did get this from my girl, Andrea Renee. Thank you so much, girl. You gave me four shades and I just really appreciate it. I think she got like two cases of it and she is on their PR list, but she did give me some shades that were too bright for her, but would probably be perfect for me. So I did swatch them. I am gonna show you some swatches but let's go ahead. I always, um, I put on my con my color corrector first. So I'm going to color correct one eye and the other one I'm just gonna leave so you guys can see if it is in fact full coverage. Do I need to even color correct? We're gonna see. So I am using my Tarte color corrector. This is the CC, con uh, the CC concealer and corrector and I am going to correct the left eye. Okay, and I like to use my finger to warm up the product, but we are just going to warm up the eye. Sometimes I like to use my finger for concealer. Today we're gonna use the Beauty Blender. Sometimes the Beauty Blender can, or my Beauty Sponge, this one is by NYX and I really like it it can tend to absorb a lot of product. Now with the multi-use, this does retail for $29 and it comes in 20 shades. That is fabulous for a concealer. And it's a multi-use, so you can use this to highlight, contour, you can use it to bronze. I like cream products. I feel like bringing it out during the summertime is perfect because I like cream products more so than powders in the summertime. So I am going to use sand I can already tell the difference in the color correcting if you can see that this is brighter. I wanted to come with this review before doing my full coverage concealers is because if it's that good then it would be con included because I did hear that this is full coverage and I kind of want to see how this works. I am going to turn my blender when it's time but that is with the color corrector. I'm gonna Blend that out a little bit. And I'm looking in the mirror. I am going to set this, but sometimes I don't set my concealer. Now I'm going to use this side and I'm going to go in here. You tell me which one you like, but honestly, I still like the color correcting side just because I feel like more reinforced and I feel like it would last throughout the day. But honestly, on a daily basis, I could use this. This is full coverage with the sponge. So just think if you wanted to use a brush, which is going to be even more full coverage, you wouldn't even need as much. Now the texture, it does feel like Tarte Shape Tape in this being a, I call this not a doe foot. This is a book foot, honey. This application first of all I like because this is not gonna get all crazy and messy because when you put it in here it actually I feel like pulls out just enough product let's see how honey looks let me use one pump first hmm a lot of times I can tell when I place it on my face how it's gonna look and I can already tell you that looks better than sand oh yeah Y'all, this looks like Giorgio Armani. 
See, I can tell if a product is gonna look really good from around my nose. Now to prime my skin, I did use my Pacifica Pro Pri Probiotic Coconut Water Cream. That is a dupe to the RX, the Hangover RX, but I still like the Too Faced. I would still purchase that. I use both of them, but if you want a cheaper alternative for the primer, it's just as good to me. It has the same ingredients, but I don't know. I still like the Too Faced and still pick it up. So now that my foundation is done, I'm going to dab. Dab, 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 dab. But Andrew, I didn't do this on purpose, but I'm using your brush, girl, and I love it. Oh, this is looking good, y'all. As, as hot as it is right now, it's perfect for winter, but in the summertime, y'all, this would shift all over my face. This would slide off. But that looks so good. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, so let's show you the swatches. So starting from left to right, the lightest shade over to the far left is golden beige. And then there is warm beige. Number three is sand, which is the one I use on my face. And then there's warm sand, which warm sand, y'all, I could use it actually as a foundation if I just wanted to go out where I could use it as my base. But because it's multi-use, I could totally use that. I think I want to pick up one that's even deeper than this to sculpt my face with, but I am totally stoked and impressed with this. So we are back and as you can tell, it's flawless. I really like this concealer. I feel like that this is going to be a full coverage year round, but in the spring and summer, I am going to have to set it. In the fall and winter, I don't think so, but let me go ahead and give you some comparisons because everybody's been talking about from the buck foot to the amount of product. Of course, you get 0.5 ounces in this, which is the most in a concealer that I've ever seen, like half an ounce, that is crazy. You can use this actually as a foundation. Warm sand, I actually could use on my face probably, but let's talk about this. Tarte Shape Tape, there's pros and cons, okay? It is drying in the fall and winter, so it's not one that I tend. I usually have to mix it with something, but in the spring and summer, it is perfect. I don't have to set it with the powder. It's creaseless. I can tap it with my finger, I only need a little bit. Now in terms of the born this way, it's a lot more hydrating. So in the fall and winter, I'm probably not gonna have to set it. But in the spring and summer, I did, I do. I could feel it shifting a little bit. So it's better for year round. If I had to choose, it would be the born this way, winning this, but I, I love it. I love it. Uh, what else can I say? Okay. Sharp tart shape tape is not no it's no shade to the shape tape, but I feel like if I had to choose more hydration, especially me having a drier under eye, I am going to pick something that's a little bit more hydrating, even though I have to take, you know, some next, some more steps because really it evens out, you know, in this fall and winter, in the fall and winter, I would have to take an extra step with mixing the tart shape tape. But in the spring and summer with the born this way, I would have to set it with the powder. Hope that makes sense. So it kind of evens itself out, but I do feel like the Born This Way is a better year round full coverage concealer for dry girls, <laughs> dry under eye. So um, yeah, I can already tell that. I really do enjoy it. I am going to pick up Praline and I think one more shade like golden and Praline in terms of the Born This Way foundation. Praline is a shade that Jackie Ina selected and Sephora actually said that that was my per perfect shade. So I, d I will come with those. I really enjoy bringing these videos to you. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite full coverage concealer is and your favorite summer foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.